look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I will be discussing with you in this reaction video Ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that Well, I'm going to answer a question Why do we not see these quote unquote good modern women black women in particular speaking up and i'll tell you why because there's a war on them and the people who are declaring war against them are the thoughts in the women out there that are very undesirable to most men that are giving the modern day black woman in the black community as a whole a bad image and name right so i'm gonna play this girl name i'm just a girl she's catching a whole lot of pushback She's all over the internet right now. People don't like her delivery. And all she does is speak up when it comes to morality, chastity, and says things like um, young black women should carry themselves with respect and dignity and should be dressed modest. And because she say these things, today's modern day baddie are at, is at her throat. Okay, so I'm going to give you a, a little bit of what she says, and I'm going to play some other content creator like Dana Dan who's going to comment on it. Hold on one second, y'all, as I put it on your screen. This is her right here. All right, let's get it. Now check out what she says, y'all. Black women have been too compassionate for other black women, the people that are in our lives, too em too much empathy, be and that's where we. This is why we're where we're at. Because all we do is have compassion, and we make excuses. We're making excuses, and it's and it's a problem. It's 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 a problem. And that's all y'all want me to do. Well, get, have compassion. How much compassion can we give? We've been given so much compassion that look at where we are. Look at where we are, y'all. Now, what she's talking about is uh, when people say, you can't judge me, only God can judge me. Oh, you should understand why people act the way they act. No, we should stop having compassion in that way, in that regard towards women that we see that are misbehaving and acting unruly. We don't need to think about the household they come from. These are grown women. They have the intelligence, we think, to make good decisions, okay? So they are choosing to carry themselves in a way that is derogatory and self-disrespectful. You get what I'm saying? So we don't need to feel that no more for them. We have to hold these women accountable. Now let's keep going. Come on. 80% 80 of black kids are born out of wedlock. Single mothers, we, we have the highest single, num single mother rates. We have the lowest marital rates. We are overweight. We have nasty attitudes. The bitter women got, yes, they did. They tried. They they did try. Again, it's it's in, it's influencing our children. Look at our, we watched the proms. We watched the prom. We saw the prom. Did y'all not see prom? Did we not see the prom stuff, y'all? She's talking about how the, the high schoolers and the prom girls go in there looking like hoochie coochie mamas where they have almost everything revealing nothing is um, nothing is for the imagination. She's talking about the spirit of whoredom that has taken hold to the young black women mind before they have before they have even reached the age to drink alcohol legally. They're looking and dressing like prostitutes. This is what she's talking about now. I'm going to speak a little bit more so you get a gist of what her content is like and then we're going to get into the real meat and potatoes. Exactly. Don't, they don't police the spring spring lady because she's telling them a bunch of BS. We don't have the highest education rate, y'all. Let's stop making it up. We are the most enrolled. We do not have the highest education rate. We we are the most enrolled, which is fine, but we do not. We are more likely to get pregnant while in our first year of college. Black women have the highest rates of getting pregnant while we are in college. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, now you got an idea of what she talks about. Now you, now you can tell she ain't said nothing negative. Only everything she said will be educational and uplifting and good instruction for young black women, right? They're mad at her for speaking the truth. Now, let me go ahead and put some of these other ladies on here. Dana Dang, and let you hear what she's going to tell you about it. And we're going to get down to this real serious like Jack. Hold on for one moment. Let's get it. There is a war against our girls, 
And that is the reason why women who got moral standards and integrity have to stick together. Anytime you got people who want to take a platform from somebody who actually out here trying to help young girls, yet they don't have no problem with platforms that encourage these young girls to sell their bodies, be prostituted hoes. Anytime your outrage is higher when it comes to somebody who gets online and tell young girls to prioritize marriage over having babies and being baby mamas, yet you don't have a problem with the women who go out here and tell your daughters to just sleep around with anybody. Be liberated. It don't matter whether or not he ain't got nothing to provide you or a child. Just use your body as liberation and sleep with whoever you want to and whatever happens, happens. You okay with those messages being pushed to your daughters, but it's a problem. You can pick apart the delivery. You can pick apart the tone when it comes to that, but you call each other bees and hoes in casual conversation and there's no issue there. She's 100% correct. They are trying to counsel that dark-skinned lady who goes by, it's just a girl. I'm just a girl. And as I showed you in the first clip, all she talks about is positivity. She talks about femininity. She talks about how women should treat their men. Now, Dana, her, and some other women, a few of them, who actually talk common sense and talk about being traditionally minded as a woman, okay? The reason why you're not hearing too many of these women, y'all, because of the attacks that they are getting from the single mustard back helpers, the women who want to run the streets, the sexy reds, the Megan Thee Stallion personalities that they have, the you can't tell me what to do, I do what I want, I don't need no man, I'm better off single. They are on these women. They're trying to stamp them out, okay, because they don't want them to teach other girls how to be happy because they're miserable themselves. You get what I'm saying? These women will sit up on this app and they'll send money, they'll support, they'll follow women who promote dv women who known to abuse their children women who neglect their kids and harm their children women who are known for doing these things they'll give those women full support but a woman who is out here actually trying to help the girls that's who you got a problem with that's the one who don't need to have a platform that's the one who you want to silence there is a war against these young girls they do not want to see these young girls succeed. What they want is they want them to ruin their lives the same way that they ruin theirs. They do not want to see these young girls make better decisions than they made because it makes them question their whole life. It makes them question everything that they did in it wrong, and it makes them wish that they could go back and do it again. Therefore, if you can't beat them, join them. That's the mindset, and they want these young girls to join them in the misery that they created for their own lives. They don't want to see these girls be better. I thank God for young girls like Clark on this app where these young black girls especially get to see what using up what up here where it can get you and that you don't have to spread your legs and manipulate men and sell your body to men to live a luxury lifestyle. You can use what God gave you to get all of those things on your own. And then if you find a man along the way who can meet you where you at, fine. But you continue to use what you got to get what you want in the right positive way. Now you tell me where was the negativity in anything she said? She's 100% correct, all right? But these women are targeted by the no-good-for-nothing whores, basically. I'm going to play this one last lady up there. She had a good point she made, too. So, trying to answer y'all question why you don't see too many of the women talking about traditionalism because they are, like I said before in one of my other videos, black women's worst enemy is black women, in my most humble opinion. And, oh, yeah, this is for educational purposes only. Y'all may not believe me, but there are legit people out there in search of inspiration, in search of encouragement. There are people out there that wake up daily and say, I really don't like the life that I have right now. I want to do better. And so they go into the world looking for someone to give them guidance, to give them advice, to help them to get the results that they want. So when you have content creators like I'm just a girl or you have content creators like myself and y'all who are you to tell us what to do we're not telling you what to do we are literally giving advice for the young women who want the advice I I had someone say that to me I had a man say that to me actually uh, what's the point of what you're doing and why you're saying that how it's gonna change anybody and it's a look look fools like I've been saying before 
I ain't trying to change a motherfucking body. The stuff that I say is to, if for those who want to change, it helps them. It don't help the ones who don't want to change your fool. It helps the ones who actually, like this lady said herself, there are women out there who are looking for guidance, who don't have no one to mentor them, who don't have no direction, who don't know how to treat a man. So they come across people like Kevin Samuels. They tore him apart because they didn't like his delivery. They come to people like me. They tear me apart because they don't like my delivery. They go to that woman, I'm just a girl, and this lady on the screen, and Dana Dang. They tear them apart because they don't got the delivery. Stop focusing so much on the delivery. You don't say that shit with Sexy Red out there talking about, oh, I want STDs and stuff on me. and all this. You don't say nothing about her delivery. You, you love every bit of it. And everything she says is destructive. So if you're going to be weak, be weak and stay out my lane. If you're going to be strong, ride over here with me. And take this chastisement. Take this correction. Take this instruction. Because all of us need it, myself included. And you would not be who you are today if you've never been chastised, rebuked, instructed, guided, or directed. There's no person walking this earth who has never experienced any of those things, especially if they're a productive individual. They had to go through all that. So if we got to go through it, you got to go through it too. And if you want to be a fool and don't listen, then be a fool. I'm not telling you not to be a fool. Be foolish. Do all the foolish things you want to do. Mess your life up, but don't come mess our lives up. I find it so ironic to see how y'all have drug I'm just a girl talking about who gave her the authority. She is literally a school counselor. <laughs> her job is to help young women discover which path they want to take in life. Other students too, but you get what I'm saying. It doesn't matter who the messenger is. Anytime you try to correct black women, guide black women, show them that there's something better than what has been forced down our throat y'all take it as a personal attack like we are talking specifically to you well the old saying of a hit dog is gonna holler is applying right now because what i cannot fathom is if the information that is being given on social media is not what you want why can't y'all just scroll past or block that person Facts. or not like the video Facts. Why do y'all have to go out of y'all's way to get into the comment section and argue? Facts. Degrade. Why do y'all have to go out of y'all way trying to get this person canceled? Because I don't agree with what she's saying. Although, the message may not be for you. Facts. Bottom line, I can't speak for I'm just a girl. I'll speak for me. I was a 19-year-old statistic, had a baby, living on Section 8 food stamps and everything else. Making that choice made my life so much harder. So today, I am trying to be the change that I want to see for my community. So I come on this Good Here app and I tell women, don't do what I did. Same here. I've been game banging, drug dealing, and I was a pimp. Been locked up several times. I was extradited from Florida back to Houston after having a, um, getting in trouble in Houston and fled to Florida. And I'm in here right now. Trying to tell the community that you don't got to do the things I used to do and try to give people some guidance, some instructions, some understanding about how the game works. Okay? That's what I do. And also, I've been a um, excuse me, a mentor in Third Ward on Live Oak at Shape Community Center for those of you who are from Houston. Um, it's ran by he got a, a location on Alameda out here too. His name is Eloy Parker. And I was down there helping people down there at at risk youth. Okay? I did that for a long time. Haven't did it lately, but I did it for a long time. Now, you can go look it up. Now, people like me, her, we try to give back to the community. We don't just complain about it. We actually do something. So all the people, this, that, I don't like this about it. Uh, what the hell are you doing to help it other than complain about it? And when you see people like me and her, who I could have made this channel about anything other than what I make it to be now. It could have been about cats and dogs and who knows, rubbers. I don't know. But I decided to go this way with it to try to shed some um, light on certain situations in the black community. And it's always going to be, and I'm going to say this, I hardly ever say it. But when I make this type of content, intelligent black people like it, they love it. But it's the niggas that cause the most problems. And there's a difference between the two. I, I mean what I say. You ain't got to like what I said, but it's the truth. Do better than what I did. I was naked. I was outside in the club living my best life, like taking penitentiary chances just to be with a dude because it's fun. It did not give me the best results. 
it is nothing but the grace of God and the blood that kept me from either being in the grave or being in jail for the rest of my life. I have lived a life. I don't hide from my past. I share my past because I pray that me sharing will be a cautionary tale to the younger women that are coming up behind me. Exactly. And that's what I say about myself. When I, I don't be bragging on what I used to do. I just let you know that you can do what I'm doing now if you're doing what I used to do, you fools. So, yeah. And all you must have back help. But I don't care what you say, Mr. Hill. I'm going to be a ho and you're not going to stop me. I'm going to keep popping it. I'm going to keep busting it over for Pookie, Ray Ray, and Nook Nook. Matter of fact, I'm going to eat all three of their booties and there's nothing you can do about it. You leave us alone here. All right, then. You can do what you want to do. All right. I'll holler at y'all later. You tell me what you think about this topic. You take it easy now, yeah? Ooh.